my religion. My religion keeps me safe from wrong. It guides me through all I do. It regulates how I evaluate you and all the works of your hands. It allows me hate without compassion, second thoughts, or consideration. My religion, it clears away the clouds. My religion, it designates that I give you now a stone for bread, and when you ask again to eat, that I return yet worse in place of meat or fish, for you are not one of us. My religion makes it easy to distinguish. My religion, it disavows the oath I took to heal and cure. It permits me to rebuff your need for care, though the medicine is in fact right there. My religion makes the judgment anguishless. With it, you are easy to forget. My religion, it allows me to deny you access to every basic kindness, every simple decency, the store, the restaurant, the bakery, the courthouse, the restroom, any sort of thing, all in the name of its king of kings. My religion simplifies. My religion, it grants me the right to interpret religious freedom, to say, do it my way, believe or die. It honors me in this fight. My religion is unobstructed and free, only angels flying there above me. My religion is built on a bestseller, 1,000 pages long. Why should I need to bother with any other thought or book? My religion is everywhere. My religion, it provides me a power from beyond the grave, voices, voices eternally. My religion keeps me company. I'm never lonely. My religion is good to me. My religion, it specifies that you who live in glass houses with nothing hidden, defying all, completely open to the skies, will be prosecuted that, at very least, my religion specifies that all others, all but us, have been misguided, are forlorn. My religion keeps me well informed. My religion, it permits me anything but for a few slogans worth of life, and that's why I believe and why all others should too. And though God finally turns his back on me after all the good I've done and do, my religion never will. My religion gives me everything that it has taken from you.